Oh, right. So, I, I got completely distracted. Please, tell me what happened with the bandits. I've been talking quite a bit. Besides, I think Atticus and Velvet and Sprout are the real heroes here. I took a nap. Ah, Sprout is reaching for his red I face. Mean, <laughs> I mean, all I did was blaze it, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fire, Firefly probably, uh, just to, to show off, makes a, a portal on, on the chair with her and then on the ceiling above and then just kind of drops down over here. <laughs> well, it has been an absolute blast. I'm glad I got to work with you guys. Uh, thanks again, Doc, for what you did. Arvis, thanks for being a fan. I really appreciate the nice things you said. And uh, I gotta head out. But uh, before I go, I'll, I'll set up the fireworks for you. It's, uh, yeah. I promise I made uh, this a th little. Thank you. I'm really glad to really glad to have met you. Thank you. <laughs> she, uh, she walks on over um, and extends her hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, shakiest arm reaches out. Thank you. Okay. And <laughs> like last half a second, he quickly re like recoils his palm. Yeah, no problem. And thanks for what you do. I mean, credit where credit's due. I mean, you're actually helping people by like, transporting those health potions and whatnot. So thanks. Yeah. Uh, I, I, next time I'll do better. I thought you did great. I mean, let's be fair. You got jumped and it was clever to use the, uh, the thousand pound powder on that. Thank you. <laughs> Looks down again. She gives a little salute. See you around, kid. Velvet takes out a, a stethoscope. His heart stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and they said Firefly doesn't kill. <laughs> Firefly walks out, rips off her mask. It was Umbra. <laughs> <laughs> Talk shit, get hit. Uh, Velvet, can we go for a walk real quick? Oh, sure. We're going to go for a walk. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, have fun. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, thanks. Uh, hold on one second. Um, I, I feel like I haven't thanked you guys enough. Oh. First of all, you got back, um, you got back all my stuff, and I was actually kind of shocked about that because I, I threw thousand pound elixir on it. Like, you dragged that back pretty quick. Um, and beyond that, you managed to get back all the health potion barrels that, like, they took, and I was expecting to not see them again, and have to go home empty-handed, so that's that's a lot. Oh and, no, um, we left that guy in the tree. Oh my god, we <laughs> left him in the tree. Oh, let's walk. <laughs> let's walk that way. Okay, yeah. Uh, also, thank you for helping me fulfill a childhood dream of mine. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm glad to help a man yeah. who's in the tree. <laughs> Looks back down, super embarrassed. It's okay. No time to be embarrassed. We gotta set stuff up. Oh yeah, I can. I can help with that. Yeah, I'll, right I'll down on the board. I'm still listening. You sprint over, the man is gone. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Atticus, at, at some point, Velvet, like, severely outpaced you. She's moving way faster now. You're not sure if it's because she was really worried about this guy or what, but she's just looking one of these things straight in the eye. Did you eat him? <laughs> <laughs> You hear snoring from the nearby grass. Oh, he got pretty far, actually. <laughs> yeah, he, he made it surprisingly far. <laughs> There's a trail of grease oh. connecting him and the tree. Oh, man. Oh, God. Is it like one of those, like, stretchy slap arms where, like, if he, yeah. if he lets oh, go, he's going to, like, slingshot awful. back? Oh, a lantern. He's... I'm really glad we came out here, actually. Uh, Baron is 100% KO'd. He's just sleeping peacefully on the ground. Stuck full of a bunch of twigs. <laughs> Oh, he look, he's actually, he looks really comfortable. I'm conflicted, because on one hand, we let him get away, and because we left him out here, which was not my intention. But also, <laughs> this is a clear jailbreak attempt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're going to have to save him from himself then, because if he had gotten away for real, he would have missed Kate. <laughs> You're right. You know what? I'm going to stick him on the bakery. I feel like Levin could just, like, teleport next to him if he started moving. Still sleeping, just snoring away. Um, so can I, um, uh, I wanted to, uh, I'm sorry I grabbed you. Oh. She, like, looks around, looks at the shades, looks at this guy. No, it's, it's okay. So, you're from the rocket way, so this is probably okay. And I mean, you already, I mean, you grabbed my back, because... You would have died otherwise, so this was definitely the right option. Um, so I also, I also felt bad because I was, I was actually trying to like, like 
tackle you out of the way, and instead I just face planted us into danger, and then you had to impale yourself into the wall to save us, which was frankly really impressive. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the others noticed that. Don't tell them. <laughs> also, don't tell them that my skin feels weird. It's not... Okay, I don't actually... It's not like a psychosis thing that I don't like being touched. It's like... She she outstretches her arm um, and like, like, yeah, you can... I think, I think, since you already know, it's fine. So you don't need to worry about... Is it like, okay? Just... At... Yeah, no, it's... I mean, don't like do it willy-nilly around other people because then they might think it's okay. But yeah, I don't... I have a weird... Let's call it a skin condition. I am a doctor. It is a skin condition. <laughs> and okay. it and I guess goes people. ahead and, and puts a hand on your arm, like, gently. Yeah, her her arm feels kind of like... If you... I don't know if Atticus has encountered this material, but the closest thing that I could approximate it to is, like, marble or porcelain. It's like a li it has a little give. It's like a little fleshy, but only like 10% flesh and then rock or something. So this helped me dig my arms and legs into the wall. Oh, man, my outfit is trashed. I should have brought more than one outfit. I should have brought food. I didn't bring anything. <laughs> <laughs> she zones out. <laughs> are you uh are you a statue person? Um, no. No. I'm a... You know how, like, all the humans around here are different kinds of humans? I'm one of those. You know, like, Levin's big and fiery, and Delphi's... Delphi's so soft. <laughs> Have you bumped into Delphi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the opposite of you. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, so I have some weird tendencies, including weird skin. Um, and among other things, I'm kind of sensitive to light, so I don't know if you've noticed I've been hanging out in the shade most of the time when we've been walking around the woods, and I really like the nighttime, so that's why I was out the other night. I, I have noticed. It's it's kind of a shame. I think your hair's really pretty when the light hits it. Oh, I can actually see really well in the dark, so there's actually no difference for me. Actually, I can see better in the dark. Don't tell Celine, because I think she's trying to be really friendly. Fire, fireworks and sparklers really hurt my eyes. Oh no. They're so bright. Why are they that bright? Hmm. Uh, Atticus fishes around in his stuff. I've definitely got a... Okay, yeah, I've still got my safety goggles from the... You know, actually, I, I might be able to use some of the... <laughs> he tentatively scoops some of the ooze. <laughs> No, Atticus, I'm not worth it! Uh, oh, wow, yeah. This is like what happens to the fuel if you get to the wreck too late, and it started decomposing. Okay, just gonna... Okay. Yeah, no, this should... Um, so, they're still pretty clear. People probably won't notice if you have these on. He's, like, cut out just the front of the safety goggles, so they're more like glasses. They kind of just sit on the face. Um, these should, uh, if, they, if something flashes, like, you'll be able to see that it flashed, but it should block out most of the extra light. Oh, that is actually super useful. Thank you very much. She puts them on immediately. Um. She looks around. Hey, you want to, here, you want to see something weird? <laughs> she, um. Yeah. She leans forward and, like, grabs her eyelid and kind of stretches it out. Touch my eyes. They're also super hard. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, you, are you sure? Yeah, no, it won't even hurt at all. Okay. You, you can literally, uh, like, flick your finger at it and I won't even feel it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that Atticus very, very gently, like, carefully applies the minimum amount of pressure to... Not right the center of the eye, but like the lower part. It is the exact same material as her skin. Oh, wow. Oh, but my hair is soft. Oh, I know that. <laughs> she does not know how to respond to that. 
It's nice to actually be able to mention that to someone. It's it off puts a lot of people. So please don't tell anybody ever. <laughs> she like suddenly she looks serious for half a second, not that you can see that well in the dark. I had to tell someone. You're a pretty cool kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know you were twelve. You can do a lot of really cool stuff. Um, thanks. My dad read to me every night. What was your dad like? <laughs> oh, he's not I mean he's He's not dead or anything. Oh no! I just figured. I'm, oh, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't implying that. <laughs> no, he's I, um, he's really cool and he's really smart. He's um, he's a uh, oh jeez. Um, I'm actually not that great with with words myself. He's a um, he's an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I'm bad at writing words, but you seem to be good at that. And I'm okay at speaking words, so together we're like a person. <laughs> yeah, he um, he runs a business, and uh, he I guess mostly we fix people's cars. Cool. But he also makes some. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in the rocket waste if you can get there fast. You know, there's there's usually one or two new crashes a day, but they could be anywhere. But he has an advantage because he can get to some that other people can't. Because he has a car. He does have a car, yeah. I mean, he has many cars, actually, now that I think about it. I have a car, but I don't actually yet. Wait, <laughs> I need, um... Oh, jeez, I wrote it down somewhere. It's a... It's a big number. I need... Uh, I think it was 10,000... Um... 10,000... Monies. Uh, gold, I guess? As you say, it's... As you say 10,000, Velvet kind of discreetly, like, looks down on, like, all ten fingers, gets to ten, like, slaps them together to make a one, and then starts counting out zeros. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> I only know based on, I sometimes I watch my dad when he's doing the business part, but the numbers are almost never that high. So I need them to give to a man who lives in a big metal house i think it's also his business i i don't really know my my dad was the one who looked at the paperwork but if it's... i if i can do that then the the car will actually be given to me it's weird that your car is so much more expensive than most of your dad's other dealings but i bet it's a really good car it's so cool it's an original it's like one of the oldest cars i've ever seen oh does that make it better it was a car that they made back when they were making cars instead of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Selena's just kind of like finishing up setting up the fireworks, making sure that they're all lined up appropriately so that once you light the fuse, uh, Celine calls out, Hey guys, hey, where's Baron? Oh, we... <laughs> Okay, she's got it. <laughs> Delphi runs over behind uh, Celine and Atticus. Oh, wait, hold on, guys. I think I think it's ready. Are you ready? Is it ready? Oh, cake's ready. It's ready. She runs up. <laughs> Ooh, nice. And Firefly I mean, just up finished inside all this for us. Tent. Oh, Firefly left this behind. Mm-hmm. Yep. She promised me a I... nice big fireworks show. Celine, <laughs> she suddenly looks like really dire. I. Firefly got hurt, and I wasn't there, and I think it's at least a bit my fault? What were you talking about? She spins around, showing that she's also got an arm in a sling. It happens to be uh, the left arm, too. Weird. <laughs> Brow furrows. Wow, what's wrong? Celine, when did you hurt your arm? You're not going to believe this. So, there I was, going down the stairs, and I totally beefed it. Couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. That's the entire story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Hey, Sprout, keep an eye on these two. I gotta go find Matigo. Uh, Sprout. <laughs> oh, I, I thought... Sprout, can I down on can his little chalkboard. Want to see a trick? <laughs> what kind of trick? I don't like tricks. <laughs> I mean, I like I them like, if they're good. I don't but... like them if they're good because they make me feel inadequate. <laughs> when did that boy get there? What an nervous <laughs> Out of character, oh, I literally just... didn't know he was there. <laughs> that was so good. Arvis just like pulls Sprout to the side very slowly. Hey, uh, bandits who stole my things? 
Oh. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, we're real sorry. We, uh, we were hungry. <laughs> like, exchanges worried looks with crunch. Yeah, I think that's a valid excuse. I think that's a good one. It's not. <laughs> He's just sitting there with, like, his mouth open, like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> It's... Listen, it, I'll, like, eat this handful of dirt to show you how sorry I am, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally I'm not this petty, but, like, yeah. <laughs> It help. <laughs> oh, all right. I like Arvis a lot. Look. He I... like leans over <laughs> down. Oh, here I go. Look, I don't I don't want you I don't want to cause trouble for our hosts right now. Just like I'm thinking about ways that I can pay them back. You should probably be doing the same. He walks away and doesn't even watch Crunch eat the dirt. <laughs> 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 so oh, oh, right. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you wash that dirt down with some nice fountain water? <laughs> oh, uh, I can't see any other water around Why don't you wash that dirt down with some ooze? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, sure, Atticus, let's go. I, I don't want to listen to those clowns anymore, so. <laughs> Matago. Jesus. Matago, no. No. Madagos, like, mucking around in the water over here. They, like, look over. Hi. What are you doing? Digging. Is it digging somewhere, somewhere where someone's not gonna trip? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stops and thinks for a second. <laughs> they stand up, pick up their tiny little cat trowel, and start to go elsewhere. <laughs> No, no, okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna go have a party. You can dig tomorrow. We'll find a, we'll find a really good spot for you to dig where no one's gonna get mad. Okay. And, um, Atticus, I think you wanted to talk to Medigo, so. Yeah, just real quick. Is it okay if I use some of your spooky paint? They don't really respond at first, like, as if taking a long time to think about the question. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Feel better. Aw. <laughs> Does Jillian, like, grab Madigo? Yeah, just toddle it along. Aw. Delphi's sort of, like, walked away from Celine. Still, like, few paces occasionally turns back, like, makes eye contact, worried, goes back, and then eventually vanishes into Glamier's tent. Probably could have handled that better. <laughs> Sprout is constantly reaching for... It seems like everyone's head or face. What, what you want with my face? You've oh. already peered into my deepest... In a turmoil, what possibly more could you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Sprout, use your words. He backs up a little bit, sketches on on his uh, old blackboard. He says, it says on there, I would like to feel... And he like, he writes down a symbol that doesn't seem to be a word. Uh -huh. Hair? Do you want to, do you want to touch his hair? He shakes his head and goes like like this, pointing at his face. <laughs> his squiggly lip. Oh, his beard? Is it my squiggly lip? <laughs> Is it my geometric chin? What about my caterpillar eyebrows? Why do you always have to say it like that? <laughs> All right, Gunch, if you can lower your face to Sprout. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> Sprout's pokes and smooches. <laughs> this is okay. He wasn't going to do anything. I am accepting that this is my lot in life. After a good, like, seven minutes of this, he, he will be satisfied. <laughs> Crunch has just been sitting there watching the whole time, like, eh, 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 eh. You got your laugh back! Maybe just a little. So, I hear the cake is ready. Can I see it? He nods once. Yes. Oh my god, I'm super excited about this, because your your baking is out. Oh, we're going in here? Oh my gosh, this is even better. <laughs> Are you ready? Maybe I'm ready. Is everyone present? <laughs> oh, except birthday uh, coming, girl. coming, coming, coming. And of course, Atticus. Eh, ah, eh. Velvet emerges from He's this got... roadside. She's just been watching Madigo. Atticus has a weird, like, lumpy bag in his arms. It looks like it's a bunch of individual objects. <laughs> Celine just looks over. What you got there? It's for later. Ooh, surprises. Something like that. <laughs> you little rascal. <laughs> By the way, I forgot how cute Chibi Glamier is. Oh, he, he's so cute. He, that's like his face. He's like <laughs> suspicious. He's got like the curtains of the tent drawn up around his neck so you can't see inside. <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sprout's written 
uh, follow me with a, like trying to do a cute squiggly afterwards. <laughs> now I think it's only fair that birthday girl is first. Oh no, I'm already in here. You hear Delphi <laughs> panicking from it. No, Delphi, Delphi, it's fine. It's fine, Delphi. She, you hear her like trying to make an exit through the back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, keep keep her in there. It's fine. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Scrambles under the table, comes out the other side. Okay. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> Levin exits the other side. You see for a split second, he like looks back and forth, trying to act stealthy, and then just crouches behind this. He's a hundred percent visible. <laughs> Bless you, Levin. <laughs> Slow thumbs up from over the side of it. Enter. One by one, you head in. Yeah, you can see you can see Glamier's face getting like. <laughs> the more and more people coming, he's like, I thought there would only be like, uh, looks down at hand, looks up at everyone. Not that many. You all fit inside the tents. <laughs> right, Velvet learning. also looks very nervous. <laughs> oh my god sort of stands near the entrance like everyone's just smushed in as tight as physically possible. No, hold on. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, just... no, I was just gonna do the same yeah, thing actually. No, no. <laughs> These two just like put themselves between Crunch, Gunch, and Matico. <laughs> so Celine just gives a little wave to Matico. <laughs> uh. You walk inside, Velvet, and you see everyone positively Packed into this tiny space. Everything's decorated in glitter, and in front of you stands a brilliant confectionery tower. Top to bottom, it's nearly three to four feet high. Oh my god. It's positively immense. You can tell that the bottom is four cakes stacked on top of uh, one another with a single gigantic wedding style cake stacked atop that. It, of course, is pockmarked with sprinkles. Atticus, you're reminded for a second of Mount Protea, speared through many, many times with various fuselages of rockets. Except this time it looks more delectable. I would eat that rocket. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wasn't even sure if this was a cake at first. It's so big. Yeah, Levin, you really outdid yourself. This is fantastic. Let me pat Levin on the back. Levin nods. Uh, Del uh, Delphi and Jillian sharing a seat. Delphi, like, kind of waves, like, we even saved the closest seat for you. Come on. Like, how does this work? Do we get you a slice? Do you get us slices? Um, okay, so I think, I don't know, we've never really had a party for... Who here has had a birthday party? Delphi extends her hand, but it was weird. <laughs> Wait, seriously, is it just me? Well... Glamier looks forward. Well, no, I've had one before, and I've attended many parties, but I assume that... The crystal bug raises a claw. <laughs> Look, he so... looks qualified. Let him do it. <laughs> yeah. Here. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I just... Wow, I didn't know... Nobody's nobody's had a birthday party before. Okay. I guess, uh, here. I mean, I, I, I've had a birthday party. It's just um, not like this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a good idea. Who Who is most confident in their ability to cut a pretty slice of cake? Me. I'm a doctor. That makes perfect sense to That's me. True. It seems odd for the birthday girl to have to be the one to cut it, but if you want to. Hey. Oh, <laughs> you notice that Arvis is stuffed behind Sprout again? <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> I'm just okay. Um, Velvet pulls out a scalpel. <laughs> Don't worry, it's sterile. <laughs> I'm, I swear this won't ruin the cake. You won't even know it's cut. Glamian, um, like, motions to Levin to, like, put away the knife that he had just for yeah. this. Like, shh, 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 it's okay. <laughs> no, Levin, Vel like Velvet it. saw it. She's more comfortable with this. It's a <laughs> finesse weapon. Levin, uh, like, Levin looks deathly serious for a second. Mm. He just picks up the knife and hucks it out into the night. You hear it embed itself in the wall of the bakery. Two <laughs> inches from the face of Baron. <laughs> mm. right. Yeah, Velvet just, like, she stands with her eyes closed, focus. There's, like, a flash of... <laughs> And then she sheathes the blade. <laughs> and the cake just it just it just like pops into a bunch of slices. Like in a uh, game where you have to like gather items to build shit and you hit like you cut apart a tree, it just turns into logs. 
I like to think like with all the quick cuts and the moment you see that it's like a samurai thing and sprinkles just, just, yeah, shoot just it's, the it's sprinkles instead of cherry blossoms. <laughs> Everyone just looks flabbergasted. Cheers, clapping, clapping. yeah. Duffy claps with one arm. Velvet starts passing cake out to everybody. It's very (laughs) awkward in here. You know what? Yeah, you can barely move. We're going to have to daisy chain these to each other. Just pass them down. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll start the pass over here on the left because I feel like if, if Crunch and Gunch get him, I can never get their vowels right. Um, That's okay, neither can we. I I don't trust you rapscallions to not, you know, take a lick of the cake before it gets over to Glamier and Levin, so I'm going to give them their slices personally. (laughs) Do you notice they're, like, sticking their tongues out to whatever piece of cake there is? (laughs) That is a fair assumption. Would you like me to pass for you, Sprout? Uh, Sprout, uh, nods and, uh, flops down on the lap of soft mage. <laughs> I, uh, little guy seems to have taken a liking to me, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 Sprout, Sprout likes you big time. Oh, that's good. Uh, sometimes, like, if it's a dangerous creature, this could be, like, some sort of predator mechanism. <laughs> like, <laughs> looking down at Sprout, I don't feel like I'm in danger, but... No, uh, the I, North I is bad worry. sometimes. <laughs> north is bad, but I assure you, Sprout's the best thing. Okay, we have the cake. What? Okay. Now, is there a ritual? Do we eat it? Do we uh, do we put it back some... together? No, no, no. We 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 eat it. Um, we could sometimes s- you you sing a birthday song. I don't know. But RNA had copyrighted it, so... Yeah, you can only sing that <laughs> in Blue Bell. You can only sing that in the top yeah. three tempos, so... <laughs> there is sometimes people throw cake at each other and it ruins my hair and makes me cry, but, um... Because <laughs> it's a waste of food. Holy shit! But hey, do you want to talk? It's fine. I figure we can just do the classic of just saying happy birthday. We don't have to do anything too, ex- too wild. Okay. Oh, did, didn't we have these popper things? Um, it's, was that what they're called? <laughs> Poppers? Poppies? I Party favors. Okay. Everyone gets one. Okay, who do we... What do we do? Do we... Do they fire a lot? Aren't they like guns? You know what? It feels... It feels like none of us know what we're doing. So how about this... we all make a tradition? I don't even know what it is yet. Oh, but... I love that. <laughs> Let's all just hold up our cake and say something we're thankful for. That's a holiday thing. Our birthday's holidays. Who cares? <laughs> Everyone's like Aww. awkward, like, um... No, we gotta do it all at once, because then you can all say whatever you're really feeling, and no one else oh. will think it's weird. Yeah, that's a really good point. They- okay. Let me his eyes light up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Levin picks at his beard. Okay, uh... On... On go, then. Three, two, one, Go! Oh, Mine was There's louder like a... than everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thankful for food. <laughs> I'm thankful I'm not in dead in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> it's the little things. It's really the little things. <laughs> I wish I'll try this cake now. Uh, yeah, everybody takes a bite. Like, I... Out of everyone, okay, give me give me a read of your emotional states. <laughs> Crown the room. Levin's turned around, actually. Aww. <laughs> uh, Delphi's pulled her hat down, and she's eating, too. She's, like, completely withdrawn. Uh, Celine just looks around at all the people and just has a very warm smile, and, uh, she's... She's just very thankful that this is one of the very few times that no one thinks she's a loser, or they haven't <laughs> said it yet. <laughs> so she's just really thankful for that, and she's just really happy to be here, and she uh, begins eating. Atticus is happy and very curious to find out what this cake is supposed to be. <laughs> all, all he knows is that it's apparently the most delicious food. <laughs> Sprout? Sprout's just looking around at everyone else what to do with this cake. <laughs> and Arms starts like... trying to mimic tapping the the edge of the cake to its 
mouth, but it's certainly an unmoving thing. <laughs> <laughs> Arvis, like, is reaching down and, like, futzing around with you, trying to, like, boosty the cake into your mouth. <laughs> it's no mouth. Uh, <laughs> Velvet is actually doing something kind of similar to Sprout. She's looking around and, like, gauging reactions. It seems that she is happy to be holding the cake, but, like, isn't eating it yet, but seems to be really, really enjoying this room full of entirely just losers. <laughs> no, like she's, this is, this is gen, like not that any of the other people in the room would know this, but this is genuinely the happiest she's been in quite some time. 